Welcome back to another episode of Because It Matters. I'm your host, Digital Debbie. We are still celebrating Black History Month. Today, I will be discussing Emily Morgan, Cleopatra, and Pocahontas. Emily D. West was a free New Haven, Connecticut native. Most would say that she contributed to the independence of Texas, and the song Yellow Rose of Texas was a song about Emily's story. In fact, they were both in fabricated, and Emily was never in Santa Ana's tent, and the song Yellow Rose of Texas was a song sang in the fields during slavery. For more information, be sure to check out Emily D. West, The Yellow Rose of Texas Myth by Philip Thomas Tucker. Matoka, also known as Pocahontas, is now one of Disney's hit films. Pocahontas is rarely ever associated as a woman of color or black descent because she was. She was also a part of the Powhatan tribe and by the age of 10 years old was when she actually met John Smith. The funny thing is she never married John Smith and she didn't save him from her father. It wasn't in her culture to do so. For more information, be sure to check out IndianCountryMediaTakeoutNetwork.com. Lastly, her beautiful, dark, and coppered skin, Cleopatra. Cleopatra is one of the most famous and celebrated queens of modern day. Cleopatra's family ruled for over 100 years before she was even born. Her story inspires movies, films, scripts, like Shakespeare. He wrote a play about her. Go to bibliography.com to check out more information. I bet it's a story you would love to read about. If you have a history idea for Black History Month, be sure to email me at debbie at avistaproducts.com. Thank you for watching another episode of Because It Matters. I'm your host, Digital Debbie.